I take apart my computer every few months, and what you need to do is, um, first of all, you're gonna wanna, you're gonna wanna take out the battery. Why don't you do that? Hold on. I'm having some troubles here. Yeah. So you're gonna wanna set it away apart from. Now you're gonna wanna take out all these little screws on the outside of here. I'm um, sorry, it's kind of dark. I'll show you over here. That's a lot better. All those little dots. I'm going to take those all out. So when I get those out, I'll come back. Okay, so now that I've got all the screws out, here, I took, the, I'm going to, I'm going to take, you're going to want to take the hard drive out. But you're gonna want to be very gentle with it because if you, you know, hit this or throw it on the ground or if it, you drop it, you could probably damage it, and you're gonna end up having system errors and stuff is gonna get screwed up. So if you you're gonna want to be as gentle as possible with this hard drive, so, you know, just set it away from your work area. Now I've got all of these screws off um, I'm not sure if that one needs to come off if it does then it'll come off but the next step is you're gonna want to flip your computer back over open it up and with mine I've got a little bar that goes across and it covers all the keyboard screws and you're gonna want to take all those out all right so once I get that done, I'll show you. Okay, so now you can start to see the internals of your computer. And here's my keyboard. Uh, I have also cups to keep my screws in. These are from my keyboard, and these are from the bottom. Okay, now you're going to want to have to split this open. And after that, you're going to want to have to remove the disk drive, I believe it is. And once you do that, now this should pop up. You want to be gentle with this. You don't break any clips. And if nothing's come, if it won't come loose. Okay, so like, for example, I'm going to need a pin to stick in here. But I think my screwdriver might fit. You're going to want to push it down into this little hole here. And see, it opens it up. Okay, oh, I just closed it. Alright, see that little pin? We're going to grab that now on mine it should okay so now not on mine oh there it goes okay so here's my disk drive I just pulled it out from here and you're gonna want to make sure you're gentle with this as well because it's got a uh, lens you got you don't want to scratch and ruin so you got your hard drive and your uh, your disk drive now, on uh, some of them, they might have screws underneath here. To, I got two of them there, so I'm gonna close this so they don't they don't fall down into the disk drive. I'm gonna remove these fast. And if the, your screw is not coming out, and you're you're not gonna want to keep working at it because you're gonna end up stripping it, and you're gonna end up screwing up this whole process now. You're gonna, if it's getting tight, you know, just kind of go slow. Don't kind of force it. And if it's not working, you're gonna want to have to get a bigger size and get the proper tool. Okay, so my video kind of cut off there. I'm back now. Now that I have my disk drive removed, I have a little remote, uh, little clip. That's junk. I don't need that, but it will restrict you from opening this. Um, so now I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna go ahead and now see here. I can start lifting this, and you should be able to lift up the whole thing. And if you're still not able to lift it, make sure you examine it closely. Um, with because uh, it should be coming up. I feel a little resistance somewhere over on this side. Okay, so you kind of see it's not coming up the way I want it to. But that is alright, I think that's because of, uh, oh, you can hear, I think I hear a screw. Okay, now that's just because of, um, let me flip 
lift this all the way back. You see the clips under here? You, you got the everything hooked up still. Um, I believe you got to remove everything from the top, like these clips. And sorry if my camera work is not the greatest. I am trying to lean this computer and um, take clips and you know everything. Sorry, that's those are my stupid chihuahuas. Okay, they don't know when to shut up because they're retarded. Twelve chihuahua lovers out there, I hate you all. Okay. Okay, so we're about done here. Jesus, there's so many clips. That's one thing I hate about the uh, computers is taking apart clips because if you screw up the clips, then that's when that's when you gotta start all over, get new clips, and yeah, that's just a pain. Now you're just gonna want to have to be very gentle with these because they do rip easy. Okay, so now I believe I have all of them disconnected. I have a few left here. Let me take them out. And as well as this, you're going to want to be very gentle with taking these out. Now, this one's not going one I'm not going to want to go, so I'm going to grab my needle nose here. And just, just kind of be gentle with this as well. You want to grab it around the head of it. Again, sorry, my camera work is not the greatest. Okay. Open. Close. Pull. Okay, that one, there that one goes. And let's grab the second one. Yeah, I would use my camera, but I think I, I broke it. I dropped it on the ground, and now it won't zoom in and out. Uh, so when it starts up, it gets stuck, and then it shuts right back off. So sorry about that. I wish I could use my tripod right now. It'd be a lot handier. Okay, so now we got this the faceplate of it, and you know, ooh, sweet. Looks like crap. All right, here are the internals of my computer. Um, I believe my heatsink is underneath this plate here, and those dogs need to shut up. Again, if you if you love chihuahuas, I hate you all. I hate you. Oh boy. Okay. Now the next step is you're gonna want to have to remove these bolts or screws that holds the screen on. Uh, luckily, mine's really sturdy. Let me move that. All right. So when I get back, I'll show you when it's done. Okay. So now my screen is off. As you can see, if I really wanted to, I could part out this whole computer and probably make four times what it's worth. But I will not. This is a $1,200 computer used. Um, if you don't believe me, go ahead and price it. I don't care. I've priced it many times. Uh, the person I bought this from, they paid $1,800 for it brand new. And it's insane because they got tired of using it because it kept overheating on them. And they get tired of having to plug it in every time because the battery would go low. Of course, I, what do you expect? It's a gaming computer. It's going to use as much capable power as possible uh, to per perform at top quality. All right, so uh, I worked for them. I paid, was it somewhere between 300, 300 bucks for our $1,200 computer? It's because they, they thought it was not worth the money to keep turning it on and off when it kept uh, overheating okay sorry about that I kind of got off track so th there's a little clip here that you want to take off as well if you have that but mine's gonna be a lot different from most of your guys' computers um, mine's a lot higher higher grade um, if you're having problems with like uh, for instance a Dell and Spron that's gonna have a lot less of this mumbo jumbo okay um, I believe the next step is you're going to want to have to take out all these black screws. There's going to be one here, one here. Uh, there's a there's little bigger screws because they're going to be holding down to this, the bottom plate of this. Now here, 
Here's something. Oh, there's a screw. Let me pick that baby up. Chuck it in there. Okay. So, once I get done with that, I'm going to remove it from here, and then I'll be back with you. Okay, so now I have the motherboard taken off from the ba bottom part. Um, <coughs> you're going to want to get all the dust um, from your, the ports where your fan is going to blow. And from here, this is where all of my problems are, right inside here. You can already see it's already starting to come through. It's a little dirty. Wait. What you're going to want to do, for the sake of this video, I'm not going to remove the, the plug-in power because I don't want to end up having to screw this up. Because if I screw that up, then I'm screwed. But I also had to remove this heat sink here. And I did forgot that when I, re I did redid the heat sink on this, but I didn't, I forgot about this re heat sink. So I think that I'm going to have to leave this alone. So, you're going to want to remove the power from your fan. Uh, the first time I ever took this apart, I forgot to plug the fan back in, and I already put it all back together. So, that really kind of sucked. Okay, so you're going to want to have to get all these screws out. Um, I'm going to come back when I get done. Okay, so here's my fan. And look at all that hair. That's just clogging up. And it's not so good on the heat sink as well. Let's check that out. Look at that. It's just all clogged up, and I could see why it was going up to 70, 80 degrees Celsius, which is incredibly high for a computer. And it should never be that high. <laughs> but for now, I'm just going to have to blow all this dust out. So, bear with me. I'm just blowing through the back of this, and it seems to be a lot better now. Okay. Oh, that's a lot cleaner. Alright, so now onto the fan. Okay, so I already blew most of that out from blowing through here. Okay. Um, I wish I could hide my air compressor with me, but I do not. So, that's okay. The little bit of dust is not going to hurt your computer at all. Um, the, what was clogging it was all the hair that was built up here, all the way across, and it was restricting all the air from going through. Now, I'm going to have to put this all back together, and just um, do reverse steps of what I did. So, I'll be back in a sec. Alright, so I just got done putting the computer back together, and to prove you, and you can hear it, the van's working. To prove that I didn't screw it up, and I know what I'm doing. Ta-da! It's working! Let me type in my password. Oops. There we go. Alright, so, hello, can you see me? Okay. I took all the fancy crap off because I don't need it. Um, I took a bunch of like Windows X indexing and shadow copy and everything like that off. I don't need that either. It's just a big waste of space. And I should get some sound. Come in. Okay, in my desktop. Alright. Alright, thanks for watching my videos. Like my video, subscribe to my channel, share this video with your friends who don't know what they're doing. Check out my other videos. Uh, that's all I can say. I, I mean, you know, I hope you guys liked this video. I hope it was a little bit information, uh, some information that was helpful to you. Um, yeah, subscribe, like, subscribe, and share my freaking videos, dudes. All right, talk to you later.